Hi guys, it's Avery and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do another journal with me, just a casual one where I just talk things through with you. I journal as often as, you, as I can. You can see here I journaled, let's, well, let's see here, February 7th, this is like the 10th, this looks like the like 13th. This is the 17th. So I, fed, I, I, wow, I can't speak. I journaled a lot. You know, here's Valentine's Day, the 14th. Here's the 6th. So I journaled a lot um, in the beginning of the year. And then I've been pretty much doing other things and busy since apparently the 17th. And now it is March 5th when I'm recording this video and journaling. So um, it's been a while since I last journaled. So I want to update myself in here and just kind of keep my life up to date and get things going you see i changed my mind i'm gonna journal on this one and i think i'm just gonna do a bunny because that's what i think of when i think of easter and um yep i think i want to do a bunny with a floral crown i'm gonna try my best here i don't i've never really drawn a bunny which is why i don't really want to attempt a whole bunny <laughs> i'm just gonna kind of draw an animal head with some ears things have been looking up for me, so I'm excited to um, fun little bright and happy page, especially with the seasons changing again. Um, it's already feeling like spring here in Texas. I'm not very diverse when it comes to draw flowers. I usually draw about the same things. Um, I'm gonna try my hardest to be a little adventurous. Okay, so I have it drawn out here. I don't know how well you can see it, and now I'm just gonna go over it with my um, uh, Micron pens. I almost forgot what they were called. <laughs> Brain fart for a quick second. Um, I like to go on with just different pen sizes. Right now I have the um, 005 size, um, and so, which is the thinnest, and I'm gonna do all the, like, the thinner marks. And usually at the end I go in and just erase over and take away any of the pencil, unless I like how the pencil looks with it. But I just like going over with a marker and making it a little bit darker. I actually like how it turned out. Um, I was a little nervous because I've never drawn a bunny before. But I knew they had big cheeks and big ears. Um, the eyes were a little tricky. I think I don't want her to look mean. I want her to be like innocent and cute. I tried to give her like fur in the middle of her forehead. And I think that made her look a little bit mean. So, But maybe she's just like an angelic. An angelic Easter bunny, who knows? At the end, I want to go in and watercolor this, I think, make it a little bit pretty. The bunny is, is white, so there's not much to watercolor, but I want to make the flower crown all colorful and give the inside of her ears some pinkness and stuff like that. I actually might use, do this whole thing with the same pen size, just because it's all a little small and detailed in, in a way. This is this bunny fur, I'm just going to kind of be very light and no, don't make any really drastic marks. Eyeballs on animals are hard because they like have completely black eyeballs. But if you do completely black, it just kind of looks weird. But make a little white hole in there. Okay, so I think I have my cute little bunny. I think I'm gonna do a couple of like top cheek marks there. She's got really big cheeks, but she's a bunny. Oh, I didn't do her ears. You see, and every time I do something, I'm like. Well, I probably could have done this differently, and this doesn't look right, but I'm working on not doing that, you know what I mean? Like, obviously, there's some things that I could have done differently, but this is what my hand created. This is what I'm working with. It's the very first time I'm doing it. Like, you know, own what you, own what you do, guys. You're going to improve the more you do it, and you know that. So just let yourself, like, experiment and play around. So that's my cute little bunny. And then I want to write, um, I don't really want to write over here actually. I kind of just want it to be cute and bunny-y. So I'm going to get a white paper for right here. A white scrap paper for me to write on because that's kind of been the theme for this journal if you haven't been able to tell. Um, it's like my drawing. And then I write about it or like a picture. I think I had a picture at one point in here. Yeah, picture. I've done um, a card I got in the mail, so like different things, and then write about the day. So it's like my diary, my life journal, I did the bucket list, so I'm still going to try and include um, 
different lists and things like that. Like I still love my life journal ways. I still consider this a life journal, diary, whatever you want to call it. If you've been following me for a while, you know what I mean by saying life journal, but this has turned into my style for now. You know, things change, styles change, life changes. Just facts. I meant to use the brush pen from my uh, <laughs> from my palette because or from my pack because I don't want it to leak through to the other page. So I have part Sharpie, part brush pen. That's fine. I'm just writing spring down here because it's almost spring, basically spring. Spring is in the air. Everyone's excited for spring. I drew a bunny, but I have not seen Peter Rabbit yet. My roommate saw it. She loved it. I'm not like dying to see it, but it does look cute. <laughs> um, I have a movie pass. Let me know if y'all have a movie pass. If you don't know what it is, basically it's an app where you get to see um, an unlimited amount of movies, but one a day for only 10 a month. This is not an ad. That is just something that I love because I love going to the movies. Like the freaking Oscars were last night and that is my Super Bowl. Like I freaking love the Oscars, so I like prepare for it, um, but freaking love the movies. If you don't have a movie pass, you should get it. Anyway, I wrote spring. I'm gonna stamp March with my little stampies. My sister got this in her Christmas gift to me as part of it. Little letter stamps. I don't have number stamps, so like when I wanna write the date. Oh, I just wrote the H upside down. <gasps> I just wrote the H upside down. You did what? The H stamp. It was backwards. I don't know. I put it down right, but it was upside you down. Put it right, and it'll just be like a capital H. Anyway, like I was saying, don't mind the mess up. Sometimes you mess up. That's life. Today is March 5th. I don't have any number stamps, so sometimes I just write it. Um, I actually think I'm just gonna write it within my text because I, this looks pretty centered and I don't want to uncenter it. All right, so I just filled that in, wrote it all in. Pretty much done. I kind of want to give some polka dots. You know me, loving those polka dots. Um, and then I'm just gonna watercolor and I think that's gonna be it. So I'm just gonna start out with a lighter watercolor and then once that dries, I'm gonna go in and try and make it a little bit darker. Um, I have a really cheap Michaels watercolor palette. You don't need crazy fancy watercolors if you just watercolor here and there. If you really want to get into watercoloring, I don't recommend this palette, um, but honestly, it's amazing. Works for me, so just kind of got to figure out what works best for you, you know? What works best for me may not work best for you. It just depends on. These I may go back and give layers, I may not. You can't tell too much with the small ones. It really just depends on the amount of detail you want to give your piece of art. See this over here, these leaves over here are a little bit bigger. I'll go back and give these some definition. With these little berry type ball things, I'm going to go ahead and go in with a darker, darker color. To make watercolors darker, you use less water. To make watercolors lighter, you use more water. And then, once you've colored and everything, you go back to the very first thing you colored, and then you can start darkening it, because probably, most likely, by then, it has um, dried, so you want to start where you, like, left off last, basically. Aw, oh, she's looking so cute. Okay, I'm going to make some whiskers with the lightest, um, very lightest tip. Make sure this is a little bit dry. You don't want to draw on top of a wet page. I only want to give her a few whiskers. I want to make them long. There we go. Cutie. Alright. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I think that is going to be it for my page today. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I love you all. I love chatting with you. And I will see you guys in my next video.